Hi everyone and welcome to today's Spring Power Yoga class. Today we will move through a fast vinyasa flow to awaken your body for spring or whenever you want to have more energy. So let's get started in a seated position. Bring your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders up and back so that they are away from your ears. Make your neck long, maybe rotate your neck left and right and make it long. Close your eyes and focus inward. To start, we will do a little exercise to bring the attention inward. So start by listening to all sounds outside of your home. So maybe you hear a car driving by or someone walking by your house. And now bring the attention into your home. Maybe you hear a TV outside of your room or kids playing in another room. And then bring the attention into this room where you are at the moment. Maybe you hear the air conditioning or you hear furniture cracking. And then bring your attention inward into your body and notice all the sound that your body makes. Notice your breathing in and out. Maybe there's sound coming from your belly or a cracking of a joint. And then focus on this inward feeling. Focus only on your body and on yourself. And slowly open your eyes and we get started with our yoga practice. We start in a tabletop position. So come to all fours, bring your hands down on the mat, spread your fingers out wide, your middle fingers should point to the front of the mat, your hips are over your knees, press into your hands and find a good table pose here. And we start with some table crunches. So extend your right leg to the back and your left hand to the front that you are one straight line. And we do five crunches where we bring the elbow and the knee together to crunch and extend. Four more. Elbow and knee touch and extend. Inhale to extend. Exhale to round, two more. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, round, last one. Inhale and exhale. Inhale one more time. Bring your hand down, but keep your right leg up. Tuck your left toes and then we press up to a three-legged dog. So we might have to do this a couple of times. Just do the best you can and press up into a three-legged dog. Awesome, good job everyone. So arrive here in the three-layer dog and we do the same as before. We do some crunches here. So bring your knee into your chest, your shoulder should over your wrists and back to three-legged dog for five, four, three, two, and the last one, bring your leg up, three-legged dog here. Great job, lower your right foot down, come to a traditional downward facing dog, bend one knee and then the other. Great. 
Then come forward to a plank pose. If you want, you can lower your knees down and we do some yogi push-ups here. This is a power yoga class, so let's power it through. So bring your knees down and then we lower down halfway that the shoulders are in line with the elbows. So lower down halfway and press up for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Come back to your table pose. And we do the same on the other side. This time we extend the left leg to the back. Right hand comes forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to crunch for five, four, three, two, and one. Extend to the front, lower your hand down, keep your left leg extended behind you, tuck the right toes and press up to your three-legged dog. And we do our crunches here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the left foot down, come to your downward facing dog, lower your knees down and we rest in child's pose for a moment. Open up your hips here. So let your sitting bones sink down towards your heels. Maybe swing your booty from left to right to get deeper into this pose. Relax your head here, your neck. Your jaw should be completely relaxed. Then bring your attention to your hands. Press into your hands and lift up just a little bit. And we include a thread the needle pose here. So lift your right hand up. Slide it under your torso, over to the left side, palm facing up, slide it over as much as you can, and then slowly lower down on your right shoulder. You can bring your right cheek down on the mat and enjoy this nice stretch and opening of the shoulder. Then slowly come back and bring the right hand to the front. Same on the other side. Lift the left hand up, slide it under your torso over to the right side and lower down onto your shoulder here. Then slowly come back, bring the balls of your hands in front of you, bring your booty up and tuck your toes and come to your downward facing dog. Bend one knee and the other to arrive here in this pose after this powerful start of the yoga class.
and then look between your hands, step your right foot forward, find stability here first, and then come up to a high lunge. So bring your torso up and pull the belly button inside, straighten your hips, so push the right hip back, left hip forward, straighten your left leg and bring the heel up. Awesome. Find a vocal point in front of you. Reach your arms up high for high lunge. Beautiful. Feel the power of this pose. Inhale to grow a little taller. Exhale to sink down in your hips a little deeper. And pivot your left heel down, open up your hip to the left side and we come to a side angle pose. So keep your right knee bent, bring your right elbow on your thigh or if it's possible for you, you can bring your right hand down on the mat or on the block and then reach the left arm up so that there's a straight line from your fingertips to your fingertips. Great. And if this feels good, you can reach your left arm forward to the front of the room. Maybe you can look up to the ceiling under your arm. Good job. Great. And then slowly come up and come to a reverse warrior. So lift the right arm over your head and to the back. Make your torso long here. Feel this lengthening on the right side of the torso. Stay deep in your right knee. Great. Then come back forward to your extended side angle. Just one deep breath here. Inhale and come back to reverse warrior. This time extend the front leg, but keep reaching back. Beautiful. And we come back forward, but this time the front leg stays extended. We bring the right hand down again or on the shin, whatever feels better. You can also use a block here and come to triangle pose. Yes. You can reach your left arm up high to the ceiling. Imagine there's a wall behind you and your hips and your shoulders are all attached to this wall. And then extend your arm over your head again, same as we did with the side angle. Make your core strong and then lift the lower hand up. So the hand that is on a block or on your shin and imagine you're holding a big ball over your head and reach forward. Awesome. We call this flying triangle. Yes, this is harder than it looks, but you can do it. Few more breaths here. And come back to your triangle pose. Lower both hands down, walk them to the left side of the mat. Pivot your toes over so that all toes show to the left side of the mat. And relax your head down to a right legged forward bend. You can walk your hands between your feet here to pull yourself down a little more. Make sure that your hips stay in one line with your heels here. Yes. And slowly walk your hands first forward and then to the front of the mat. Spin your toes around, step back to downward facing dog. Same on the other side. Look between your hands, step the left foot forward this time. Find your stability first. Your feet are not in one line, they are on two different tracks here. And then come up to your high lunge, hands onto the hips first 
straighten your hips, make them parallel to the short end of the mat. Sit down a little lower, extend the right leg behind you. Push your chest forward, reach your arms up. Reach up as high as you can, but lower the shoulders down. Yes. Stay strong here. Yes, you should feel a little burn in your front thigh. That's what we want today. We want to wake up the body. Yes. One more deep breath in and out. Inhale and then lower your back heel down. Open up the hips to the right side this time and set up for your side angle. So either bring your hand onto your thigh and reach your right arm up or bring your left arm down to the inside of your left foot. But make sure to open up your chest here so don't lean forward then you are not ready to bring your hand down. Then rather stay up here. Make sure to really have your chest open. That's totally fine. Yes. And then reach your hand forward that will really stretch from your heels to your fingertips. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to your reverse warrior. You stay deep in your legs, but reach your left arm up and to the back. Come forward to your side angle again. Reach to the front. We only stay here for one breath. Inhale and reach back to reverse warrior, straighten the front leg and then come forward to your triangle pose. Hand can be on your shin, on a block or on the mat. Reach the right arm up as high as you can and again shoulders should be open. So bring the shoulders in one line with your hips and with your heels. Then reach your arm to the front, bring attention to your core, really focus on this core and then reach the lower hand to the front as if you would hold a ball to our flying triangle. One more breath here, you're almost there. Bring your hand back down, come back to triangle and then lower both hands down and come to your right legged forward bend. Yes. You can do the same as you did on the other side or you interlace your hands behind your back and reach your knuckles up high to include a nice shoulder stretch here. And bring both hands down, walk the hands to the front and step back to your downward facing dog. Good job everyone, lower your knees down and come to the left side of your mat. We are on our knees and then sit down next to your feet. So your feet are on your left side and your sitting bones are down on the right side. Yes, and we will include a little twist here. So bring the left hand to your right knee and then twist gently to the right side. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Pull the belly button in that you also twist from the core, not only with your shoulders. Come back to center, same on the other side. So scoop over to the other side. 
sit down on a mat next to your feet. Right hand comes onto the left knee this time. Inhale to make yourself long. Exhale to twist. Your back hand should only be there to support your twist and get a little deeper into the twist, but it should not bury any weight. Close your eyes here and enjoy the twist. Then come back to center. Extend your legs in front of you. Grab a block if you have one ready. You don't necessarily need it, but it might be a good addition. We will do a forward bend with a hero pose. So bend one knee, the left knee, and sit down on your heel here so that your right hip is lifted up a little bit. If this feels good and you can stay here, you don't need a block. If you feel you can't stay there, just slide a block under your right hip, open up your chest and then walk your hands forward and come to a forward bend that we have a really nice hamstring stretch here. Yes. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to come down deeper into the pose. As always in a forward bend, you don't need to touch your toes. Think about belly to thigh. This is more important than touching your toes. Slowly walk your hands back in. We do the same on the other side. So remove the block, extend your left leg to the front, bend the right knee, sit down on your heel. Again, if this feels good and you can stay like this, you come to your forward bend like this, that your left hip is lifted up. And if this doesn't feel good, just slide the block under your hip and bend forward. And walk your hands back in. Sit down on your mat. We do one more pose and then we are done. We will do a double pigeon pose. So sit down on your mat and first bring your left chin down on the mat so that it's parallel with one side of the mat. And then we bring the right leg right on top of it. So your right ankle is on your left knee. Your right knee is on top of your left ankle. You should already feel a really nice opening in your hips here. Both of your sitting bones are grounded down on the mat. Maybe your knee is up super high here, which is totally fine. Then bring a block in between here that you have something or remove the block, which is also fine and keep this gap here. And you will see when we are in this pose, it will slowly sink down a little bit. So inhale, open up your chest and then gently bend forward only a little bit to feel this opening in the right hip. This should feel really good. If you don't feel anything, then bring your right heel forward a little bit more that your shin is really parallel to your mat here.
come back up. We do the same on the other side. This time the right leg is down on the mat and you bring the left leg on top of it. Again, you should feel this really nice opening already when you set up for the pose and make sure that your shin is really parallel to the mat here. Then open up your chest first, make your spine long and then walk your hands forward a little bit. Close your eyes here. And come back to the exercise that we did at the beginning of class. Bring your attention into your body. Ignore everything around you. It's just you on your mat. Just for a moment. Then you can go back to the craziness. And slowly come back up, extend your legs to the front of the mat and we lay down on the mat, setting up for our final resting pose. Bring your arms away from you. Let your feet fall to the sides. Take a moment here to make all the mini adjustments so that you feel comfortable in your Shavasana. Then take one deep breath in. Hold the breath there. And exhale completely. Sink down into the mat. Shavasana. And slowly bring some movement back into your body. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. Stretch your arms over your head, full body stretch. And roll to one side. Stay here for a moment. And then slowly come up to a seated position on your mat. Cross your legs in front of you. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. Thanks for practicing with me today. Namaste.